Okay, the pose. The pose is called legs up the wall. Now I said you can do this on a bed. So if you're on a bed, it would be called legs up the headboard. <laughs> okay, so you can do it on a bed and actually it feels fantastic on a bed. It's a great one to do on a bed before you go to sleep, especially if you've had a pretty um, chaotic and hectic day with the children and you just need to release it all. Do this before you go to bed. But if you can't put your head your feet up the headboard for whatever reason, I'll show you how to do it on the floor. So should you be playing on the floor with your children, let them play and then you can do this on the side. You never know, they might even join you. So I have to change or move my camera and I hope I don't lose anyone. You never know with internet connection when we go live. Okay, let's see, maybe I need to lower this too. Yeah, let me lower it. Okay, so you can see it's on the floor. And I'm going to get on the floor. Oh, there, I didn't lose you. Okay, so the way to do it, whether you're on the floor or on your bed, is you need to get the side, one side of your body, it doesn't matter which side, one side of your body up against the wall or the headboard. So you just bring yourself as close to that wall or headboard as you can. So I'm, I'm literally right up against it. And then from here, you place your hands on the floor and we're gonna spin ourselves around so that our legs end up on the wall. As you can see, I don't have a wall. I have a bookcase. It'll work <laughs> just the same. So you just spin yourself around to come to lying down with your legs up the wall. And then you lie down. I don't know if you're gonna see me in, in here, okay? Let me just move myself so you can see all of me. Right. So I spin myself around, my legs are up the wall, and I lie down with my arms by my side and the palms are facing up. Now you want to give your armpits some space. And the whole point to this is that this pose is not only relaxing, it's a restorative pose, so it releases tension from the body just by being in it. Isn't that great? You don't have to do anything. And the tension just leaves the body. Heat also leaves the body. Remember, there's that connection between feeling calm and feeling cool. So if you get one, you get the other. Like I said, the arms are by your body with the palms up, but give your armpits space because we hold a lot of heat there, don't we? Give them some space, allow them to breathe, allow the air to cool them down. And then you would be looking up at the ceiling, closing your eyes, and you enjoy the bliss for as long as it feels good. And that's it for today. A cooling breath, three ways to do it. Choose the one that works for you. This will be saved so you can always go back if you can't remember which one worked for you or how to do it. And the second thing was a pose. And this is called legs up the wall. Hopefully you can remember it, but again, this will be stored so you can always go back and find out how to get into it. Either one, you can do the cooling breath as many times as it feels good. You can stay in this pose for as long as it feels good. This pose also lowers blood pressure. And you see my legs are up, so it relaxes the legs. So if you've had a, a, a hectic day, like you've been on your feet all day, it's perfect for that too. So many benefits, I can't get into them all, just the main ones here. But I hope to see you again in two weeks time in the next Yoga Bites. If you have any comments or questions about what we just did, pop them in the comments below and I'll get to them. Have a great day and stay cool.